Hey, what's up guys? More Medic One. How are y'all this Monday morning? Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are already subscribed to this YouTube channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyway, I've gotten so many comments and emails about, hey, More Medic, I want to start trying to look up my own parts, but I ordered some parts for my trimmer and when I got them in, they were wrong. That's so easy to do if you don't know what you're doing as far as trying to be a parts person. Let me walk you through ordering parts. We're gonna use a little echo trimmer. I'm gonna show you the websites that I like to use. And let me show you how to properly make sure you get the right parts when you order them. Today's specimen is a little Echo uh, curb edger. We're gonna order the guard. We need to order a muffler bolt as one of them broke off. Very common on the SR, well, the PE-266, PE-280. The, the, most of your Echoes that have the stud bolts instead of just screwing straight to the block. I like this method but let me show you what happened. Okay, so these muffler bolts just come in behind and get hooked into the cylinder head like that. But what happened was on this one right here, if I can get that in there, the customer has lost the muffler guard and mushroomed over one of the bolts. And whenever I went to take the nut off it just snapped off very common thing okay so what you're going to need is the model number which is a PE266 and you need the serial number which is right here that's an important piece of information that you are going to need all right so I like to go to either e-replacement parts or parts tree parts tree is usually the best bet when it comes to looking up echo parts and as you can tell right here you have a a model number box you just type in type in your model number and then it's going to bring up all of the serial numbers associated with that model number now what you do you just click on your model number and your serial number range and it will bring up the illustrated parts list for your particular model trimmer so what you want to do you want to scroll through those model pages those illustrated parts list until you find where the exhaust system is or maybe maybe it's going to be on the cylinder but most of the time it's going to have an exhaust system page so you just click on that and it'll pull up everything that you need exhaust system wise. So you've got the exhaust system page up and you're looking at this and you're like, so what do I do now? Well, these parts are numbered one through however many is on that page. So you need to write down or remember which parts you need and write the part, you know, it's always easier just to write the description of the part that you need and then the number corresponding to it. So obviously we needed a number one, the gasket, the bolts, possibly a couple of nuts and the washers and the muffler guard. So right below the illustrated parts list is going to be your actual part numbers. So what you would do is look at the illustrated parts list, get the number that corresponds, and then when you scroll up to actually look up the part numbers, you need to match your, uh, your numbers. Say like number one is the bolt. You need to look at the parts list just below it and write down the part number for the bolt, and then you're good to go. And you should be able to look up anything for this trimmer using parts tree very very important to be sure you have your serial number and why because a lot of times these manufacturers 
And the reason that they have serial number brakes is because they have changed some of the parts. And the most common change is going to be ignition modules, uh, flywheels, starters, starter uh, cups. A lot of that stuff just changes over time. Uh, they may change a cover or two. Uh, the trigger handle might be different on some of the other models. But, uh, oh, and engine covers and uh, exhaust covers are very common to change on the same model, but different serial numbers. But anyway, guys, hey, if this content helped you out, and I hope it did, give me a subscribe, please, and hit that bell to get all my new notifications. And by the way, hey, whenever uh, you click the bell, right next to that's going to be a little heart. And if your heart feels like it's necessary to uh, click that, please do. And uh, comment and let me know how everything's going. And guys, we will catch you on the next one. Have a great day.